Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So in this lesson, we are gonna be talking about substitution. So it's pretty easy. All that you're gonna do is the following. Let's say I give you something like 3a take away b to the power of two. And then I tell you that a is equal to one and b is equal to minus two. Then I tell you to, so then what you do is, now you gotta be very careful with this. The way you do it is you write down the number three, okay, so you're gonna say, whoops, see, you're gonna say three. Then only where you see A, open up a bracket, okay? Then you say, then there's a minus. And then only where you see B, put a bracket, like that. What some students do, and it's incorrect, is they put a bracket around the minus B. But only the B and only the A must have a bracket, okay? And then you just go and put those numbers there, and you put those numbers there, and then it's easy, so three times one is three, and then here there's a minus, so just say minus, and then minus two to the power of two. If you type that on your calculator, remember to use the brackets. You must use the brackets, it's very important. That'll give you positive four. If you're getting negative four, it's because you're not using a bracket, and so here you're gonna put a four, so that minus is that minus over there, and then this whole part ended up becoming four, okay? And so then you're gonna have three minus four, which is then equal to negative one. And so for this lesson, we're just gonna go and practice a lot of these. So here is the next one. So they tell you that A is three and B is four, and here's the equation. Okay, so go put brackets wherever you see. Um, so for A, you see there's a bracket, and then the two is on the outside, and then you put a bracket, and then the two is on the outside for the B part, and then there's a minus. So the minus A mustn't go in a bracket, only the A is in the bracket, okay? And so now all of the A's are gonna be a three, so we just go fill that in as a three, and then the B is a four. Okay, so three squared is nine, four squared is 16, and then minus three. And so that would eventually give us 22. Here's the next one. So square root, and then in the square root, you're gonna put a bracket, because that's where the B goes, and then this is where the A would go, so you put a bracket, and then this minus must not go in the bracket, it's only the B that goes in the bracket like that. Okay, so now you can go put the B value of four over here and over here, and then the A value over there. So the square root of four is two, and minus four squared is 16. And if you had to calculate this, it will be five minus 16, which is negative 11. Here is the next one. So you see there's a B, put a bracket, and then there's a two, then there's another B, put a bracket, then there's a A, put a bracket, minus three, and then there's an A and a B next to each other. So you see the minus and the plus and the minus, they don't go in the bracket as well. That's a common mistake that learners make. Now we can just fill in the B, which is minus two, and then another B over there, and then another B over there. And then the A goes there and there. And so if you type this in on your calculator correctly, it should give you positive four. If you're getting negative four, it's because you're not using a bracket, okay? And then you're gonna say um, a minus and a minus becomes a plus. And then here you can just say minus three. And then these two brackets, if you multiply them together, will be minus six, okay? And then in the next step, we can just multiply these two together. A minus and a minus is a plus. And so what we end up now with is four plus two is six, six plus three is nine, nine plus 18 is 27. All right, so here's our next one. So you open up a bracket because of the B, and then you're gonna put a three on the outside, then you put a minus, not inside the bracket, and then you open up the bracket for the A, then you say plus, then you open up the bracket for the B, and then you say minus three, and then there's an A, and a B, and a squared. Now you just go fill everything in. So there's a B over here, over here, and over here, and then there's an A over there, and over there. Now, when you calculate this first part, this first part is minus two multiplied by minus two multiplied by minus two. That gives you minus eight. So that's minus eight over there. Then a minus and a minus is a plus. A plus and a negative is a negative. And now here I would just say minus three and then 
I would keep this, and then I would calculate this part. What is minus two multiplied by another minus two? Well, that would be positive four. So this must give you positive four, okay? So he's gonna do that. Then what you could do, now here you see you've got three things that you're multiplying. So what I would do is I would multiply these two together. So that'll be minus 12. So then you keep it in a bracket like that. Then in the next step, a minus and a minus becomes a positive 36. Now you just go from left to right. So minus eight plus three is minus five. Minus five minus two is minus seven. And minus seven plus 36 is 29. Here's our last example. So we can put the fraction symbol. Now there's a B, so you put a bracket to the power of two, minus two, and then there's a bracket, and then another bracket for A, and then for B. Then at the bottom, we've got C, so there's a bracket, plus C to the power of three. Now we just fill everything in. So there's a B over there, and a B over there, and then there's an A over here, and then a C over there and over there. Okay, so minus two to the power of two, that is four, not negative four, it must be positive four. Now here, once again, we've got three things that we're multiplying together. So what I always do is I would first get these two together. So that's a negative and a negative, which becomes a positive six. Okay, and then at the bottom, we just have one plus, now this is also just gonna give you one. There we go. Then we're gonna see that that's four. Now, negative two, remember you can't say four minus two. Because of bod mass, this multiplication comes first. So it's gonna be four minus 12, okay? And then at the bottom, you're just gonna have a two, and then that's gonna give you minus eight at the top, two at the bottom, and that gives you negative four.